Now, the reason why we are going to this particular property at the airport is because all of them do not have approval and which is number one basic requirement of anybody building. Then number two, apart from the fact that they don't have approval, they don't have planning permit, there was no staging of such. And the fact that they are building on pipeline, as you have seen in the, uh, the presentation done to you, nobody in his right thinking says, we'll go and buy uh, a plot on a pipeline and even build on top of the pipeline. There are many like that, that the pipeline runs through their, their foundation. So if there's any building collapse or there's any fire incident, the first person that everybody will be calling is building control. Who allowed them to do that? And I want you to know that all these property have been signed since 2016. They've been won by FAN, and Lagos State Building Control have served them severally since 2016. When you look at 2016 to date, we are talking about nothing less than seven years. And despite the fact that they've been served since 2016, we still go ahead and do our due diligence. In the last one and a half years, we've been on, in the last two years, we've been on it that they should move away from that place. And we've talked to them, we've had consultation with them. Some of them are here, they don't have C of O, no document to the property that they have there. And the reason why I call it because when the demolition starts, people never get to hear from the side of the government. So that search gives you, that tells you exactly what that property is for, if it's somewhere that you can build. And so people must invest. If you're going to cough out millions of naira to buy a land, you must search to be sure that nothing will happen to this land tomorrow. That's one. Secondly, the stubbornness of Nigerians. We're actually very stubborn people. And we're stubborn because the government enables us to be stubborn. Why do you have to wait for this building to be put up in a way that people are already living there before you come for demolition? You know that these are the pipelines where people are building on. You do not allow that building to get to that level. That's what you do. So instead of serving papers, um, this year you come back, you tell them, leave this place. Next year you come back from that foundation level. And they will not tell me that they did not know when these things were coming up. From that foundation level, before they get to Linton level, you are demolishing it already. You are So that you save them. They may cry at that time, but the tears at that time, compared to the yeah. tears now, okay. there will be a lot of Let me get a few more. You will never build a house. Lagos State will not give you building permits if you don't have documents. So the rot is deep. People bribe their way to get building permits. Mm. So you are getting building permits without documentation on the land. If your building permit was legitimate, you must have done a previous documentation. But they will say, just help us document and bribe their way. People buy their houses and you will not get registered survey or any documents on that land in the first place. You, there are documents, basic documents that you will not get okay. if the area is not free. Yeah. So when we bribe to get the document, it's like you bribing to enter university. You will not, even if you pass, you are not you having a useful certificate. certificate. Yeah. So we must get, learn to do things right. Okay. The blame is shared across yeah. many falls yeah. from within the government officials who are supposed to have checked that building. No building okay. should go that high uh -huh. without being pulls down that you are on a pipeline, okay, you are in a fan area, uh-uh. There are many shades of wrong in this. All right. Once again, I have to go out to those who have lost their properties. Yeah. 